Hey there, everyone. I'm Fox News meteorologist Jennifer Lambers with a look at your forecast and heading into today and tomorrow. The SPC and the National Weather Service have our area outlined really in a three out of five risk zone for strong to severe storms. This threat is extending from Texas all the way really to the Carolinas. They're just barely making it into South Carolina, but looking in locally for the Fox 10 viewing area, the highest threat is remaining further towards our inland areas. Again, higher number, higher threat. So even if you're left outside of it, you're still looking at the potential for some of those strong to severe storms and just remember storms. They don't follow lines. Now those severe threats that we're monitoring over the next few days, the wind threat is really going to be the highest that we're looking out for as we make our way into the next few days. But that lightning and that hail threat still there while the tornado threat is low. It's not zero. Do just keep that in mind. Timing things out in our future cast. We start off for this evening. We make our way into the overnight hours closer towards eight and nine o'clock. We could possibly see some of those isolated inland storms. Chief meteorologist Jason Smith will be tracking this heading into this evening. It looks for things to be fizzling out and then early tomorrow morning closer towards two, three in the morning. That's when we start to see this big bulk of storms really begin to push in gusty straight line winds, possibly even damaging winds will be the biggest thing that we monitor for possibly some isolated rotation. We'll continue to monitor and keep you updated right here on Fox 10. Have a way to wake up, get those alerts, get those warnings, team coverage all throughout the evening. And then this future cast model, it has all of that getting out of here really by seven tomorrow morning. Things really begin to improve heading into your Friday afternoon and evening with humidity dropping tomorrow. However, before we get there heading into today, it is going to be toasty daytime highs maxing out in the uh, mid to upper 80s. Feels like temperatures, however, more of the upper 90s and the triple digits out there. It's only going to be feeling warmer as we make our way over the next few hours. If you're spending any time outdoors for today, Stay hydrated. It is going to be hot out there. Now the rip curve risk gets high today and tomorrow. It drops to moderate by the time we get closer towards Saturday and then by Sunday it drops to low. So really improvements heading into the weekend and that's really going to be reflective in our full seven day forecast. Storm tracker alert for today and tomorrow, mainly for the overnight hours. Friday afternoon and evening is looking great. Humidity gradually dropping throughout the day and then take a look at Saturday and Sunday. Morning temperatures feel nice. Our humidity, the dew points really resting in the 50s. Daytime highs cooler and seeing plenty of sunshine. So if you're making any plans for Saturday or Sunday to be spending it outdoors for Mother's Day, beautiful conditions out there. Sit outside at any of those restaurants. Rain does return heading into next week. We'll continue to monitor and update you as we do get closer. Just make sure you have that Fox 10 weather app downloaded and have a way to wake up heading into this evening.